Using loops in samples is something that has been a staple of music production for a long time now, but something that's more recent is using MIDI chord packs in your music production. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to import your MIDI files and edit them in Beatmaker 3. Welcome back creatives, I'm Jarrell, your music technologist, here to help you master the tech you need to make music freely. I make weekly tip and tutorial videos as well as product reviews on all things music production. If you enjoy that kind of content, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be the first to catch the next one. So let's dive right in and take a look at how we can import our MIDI files into Beatmaker 3. The first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is look in the Files app to see if our file is exactly where we want it. So let's open the Files app. And the file I wanna use is in my Downloads folder. Down here at the bottom, there it is. Now this is really important. When you want to import anything, when it comes to MIDI files or loops or anything like that, samples, you're going to want to make sure you zip a folder. So you can do that either on a computer or you can even do it on your iPad. So if your sounds are in a folder, one big folder, go ahead and zip that folder. One way you can do this, I'll just show you. Go ahead and choose a folder, press and hold, click compress. And that will create for you a zip file, which will be somewhere down here at the bottom. There it is. The MIDI chord pack I'm using is the Unison MIDI chord pack. Um, it was about $27 when I bought it. Not sure if that's the price right now, but I will link that chord pack in the description if you guys want to pick that up from them. Um, I'm not sponsored by Unison, but uh, it's, it's a dope chord pack and I've been using them a lot lately for inspiration. So uh, what we want to do is we will press and hold on our Unison MIDI chord pack .zip file. And then we will click the share button. And then we're gonna scroll all the way to the end, click more, scroll down. We're gonna go ahead and click open in Beatmaker 3. So now all we gotta do is go ahead and hit a new session. And everything should be imported now, so let's check it. Gonna go ahead and click our file folder here. Go down to imports. And there it is, Unison MIDI Chord Pack. Go ahead and click the folder again. Now this is important to note, if you have another zip file anywhere inside your folder, um, what you need to do is unzip that folder as well. It's really easy in Beatmaker 3. All you have to do is click this and then it'll ask you to unzip. Um, I'm not gonna do that because I've already done it. Um, so I'll click cancel. Um, and then we'll get into the MIDI files. So there's the folder. I know, folders on folders. <laughs> All right, and these are the files that I will use. So. First, we gotta go ahead and set up an instrument that we can drag this into. So we'll exit out here. Um, we will go to the playlist tab. We've got a bank here, a blank bank. We're gonna load up an instrument into that bank. So we'll go ahead and click the sample tab, click plugin, audio unit, and let's load up tines. Great, we've got that loaded. We're gonna go ahead and go back to the bank tab. There's times. All right, now let's go back to the playlist tab. And this is the bank we're gonna load our MIDI file into. Click the file folder at the top. And we're still here where we left off in our uh, Unison MIDI chord pack. Let's choose a random key. We'll go for C major, A minor. Now let's go to progressions. And let's look at the advanced progressions. I like those saucy chords. Uh, minor, why not? And let's choose a random one. So we'll go with minor progression seven press and hold, and then we'll drag that onto our bank. It'll give you the option to transpose, but we don't need to do that, so we'll just click import. All right, exit out here. We'll double tap on our MIDI right here, and there we go, we've got chords. So all the chords are already laid out for you perfectly. That's the beauty of MIDI. So we'll listen to it, this is what it sounds like. So 
The beauty of MIDI files is that unlike loops, you can change them a lot um, to fit the way you want them to sound. For example, with loops, you're doing a lot of chopping and editing to try to get them to sound a little different. But when it comes to MIDI, you can literally change the notes that have been inputted in here. So if, for example, I don't like this top note here. I mean, I, I do, but for the sake of the demonstration, I can go ahead and I'll just delete the second one. And there it is. Now when I play this back, I've officially edited the file to be the way I want it. Now, you can do all kinds of things with this. You could play in a melody over the top with your MIDI keyboard, or you could just click in notes that you want to uh, edit. But that's pretty much it. It's really easy, really easy skill, and this can give you a lot of inspiration. Now, I kind of feel the same way about MIDI chord packs, the way I do about samples. I try not to just use them as they are. I try to edit them a little bit to make them more unique. But what's cool about the MIDI chord packs is you can put them into any instrument you want. So even though you might have the same chords that somebody else might be using, at least you might have a very different instrument than the one they're using, and that helps right off the bat. So I'm all about maintaining my own style uh, while using loops and MIDI chord packs and things like that. That has been it, you guys. I hope this video helped you out. If you have any additional questions about using MIDI chord packs, as always, feel free to drop those in the comment section, and I'll be there to answer them. If you're looking for more Beatmaker 3 tutorials, I'm going to go ahead and link a playlist right up here with the videos I've done so far. Um, about Beatmaker 3. Be on the lookout because there's more videos coming to you guys with, with basic as well as advanced level tutorials on Beatmaker 3. As always, creatives, go out there and make something dope, and I will see you in the next video. Yeah.